an apple falls, a mind ignites. One man's curiosity reshapes how we see the universe. This is the wild, brilliant and downright bizarre life of Sir Isaac Newton, genius, rebel and the father of modern science. Buckle up, because his story is anything but ordinary. Hit that subscribe button and let's dive in. Isaac Newton wasn't just a scientist. He was a revolutionary who decoded the laws of nature, invented new math, and even dabbled in chasing criminals. But his life? It was a roller coaster of triumphs, feuds, and secrets. So, how did a farm boy from rural England become the greatest mind of his era? Let's break it down. Born on Christmas Day 1642 in Woolsthorpe, England, Isaac Newton entered the world as a frail, premature baby. His father died before he was born, and his mother remarried, leaving young Isaac with his grandmother. Picture this, a lonely kid, more interested in books and gadgets than farming. By age 12, he was building windmills and sundials, already showing a knack for tinkering with the universe's mechanics. But life wasn't easy. Bullied at school, Newton channeled his frustration into study, outsmarting his peers. At 18, he headed to Cambridge University, where his genius was about to explode. Fast forward to 1665. The plague hits England and Cambridge shuts down. Newton, now 23, retreats to his family farm. One day, legend has it, an apple falls from a tree. Boom. A light bulb moment. Why does it fall straight down? This sparks Newton's obsession with gravity. Over the next two years, in what's called his Annus Mirabilis, Year of Wonders, Newton cracks the code of the universe. He develops the three laws of motion, explaining how objects move from apples to planets. He also lays the groundwork for his law of universal gravitation, proving the same force pulling that apple governs the moon's orbit. Mind-blowing, right? Oh, and he casually invents calculus during this time, yes, calculus, to solve problems too tricky for existing math. But here's the kicker. He keeps it all secret for years, like a scientific hermit. Newton wasn't just about gravity. He turned his genius to light itself. In his 20s, he used prisms to show that white light is made of colors, laying the foundation for modern optics. His experiments were so precise, they're still taught today. But Newton had a prickly side. He clashed with rivals like Robert Hooke, who claimed Newton stole his ideas. Their feud got nasty. Think 17th century Twitter beef. Newton, stubborn and secretive, often refused to publish until he was sure he'd win the argument. This guy didn't just fight gravity, he fought egos too. In 1687, Newton drops his masterpiece, Philosophia Naturalis Principia Mathematica, or just Principia. It's the book that changes everything, explaining gravity and motion with math so elegant, it's still used by NASA today. This cements Newton as the rock star of science. Later, he becomes a big shot, knighted by Queen Anne, made master of the Royal Mint, where he hunts down counterfeiters like a scientific Sherlock Holmes. But Newton's personal life, still a mystery. He never married, lived alone, and some say he battled depression and obsession. Genius came with a cost. Newton died in 1727, but his ideas, immortal. His laws power everything from space travel to iPhone physics engines. Without him, no Einstein, no moon landing, no modern world. And get this, Newton was also a bit weird. He dabbled in alchemy, trying to turn lead into gold, and once stuck a needle in his eye socket to test light perception. Yeah, don't try that at home. His life shows us curiosity can change the world, but it takes grit too. What's your favorite Newton story? Drop it in the comments below. From a lonely farm boy to the father of physics, Isaac Newton's life proves one spark can rewrite history. Want more stories of epic figures? Smash that subscribe button, hit the bell and join our history crew.